In this video, we'll write the balanced net ionic equation for NiCl2 plus NaBr. This is nickel 2 chloride plus sodium bromide. First thing we do with net ionic equations, we need to balance the molecular equation. And this is the molecular equation here. I can see we have two chlorine atoms here, just one here. So let's put a 2 in front of the NaCl. Now we have two sodium atoms, put a 2 here, and that balances the molecular equation. Next, we need to write the state for each substance. Chlorides, if you know your solubility rules, very soluble. So we're going to write AQ for aqueous, dissolves in water, splits apart into its ions. Sodium compounds as well, they're very soluble, AQ. Bromides are also in general soluble. So over here we have our nickel bromide. This is soluble, that's going to dissolve in water. And then NaCl, we have the chloride, we have the sodium that's going to be soluble. So everything is soluble. It's going to dissolve in water, dissociate into its ions. So now we'll split the strong electrolytes into their ions, and that's going to give us this complete ionic equation. Nickel, we don't know the charge for that, but we know that the chloride ion, each one, is 1 minus. We have two of them, so this has to be 2 plus. We have our nickel 2 ion, and I won't write the states each time. Let's do that at the end. Plus, I have two of these chloride ions. Over here, sodium group one on the periodic table, that's one plus the bromide ion, one minus. So two sodium ions. And we have the two bromide ions, that Br minus. So these are our reactants. For the products, the bromide ion is one minus, and we have two, so nickel is going to be two plus. We have the nickel two ion, and we have two bromide ions. Sodium is positive, chlorine is negative, two sodium ions, Na plus, and two of those chloride ions. Now we can cross out the spectator ions. They're on both sides. We have our reactants here and our products here. We have nickel two in the reactants in the products. Cross those out, they're spectator ions, two chloride ions. Here again, two chloride ions, two sodium ions, and in the products, cross them out. And then finally, we have two bromide ions here and in the products. So we've crossed everything out. And what that means is that all of these are spectator ions. They're all still broken apart. So we start out with all of these floating around. We end up with the same thing. They're all just floating around in the liquid. For that reason, we say that there's no reaction here. There's no net ionic equation and no change happens. You have nickel 2 here. You have it again. Same thing. You have two chlorides, you still have them. So nothing changed, no reaction, and we can't write the net ionic equation because there isn't one. This is Dr. B trying to write the net ionic equation for NiCl2 plus NaBr, but there's no reaction. Thanks for watching.